Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus. And in today's quick video tutorial, I'm gonna share with you how you can turn a font into a stencil font very easily. You're going to open a new design mat, come over to the left-hand side and select the text tool. Click on your design mat and for stencils, for the alphabet, you will need an A, B, D, O, P, Q, R. These are letters that have counters in the center of them. I'm gonna fill these with color so you can see this a little bit better. If you cut this for a stencil, the counters or the centers would just fall out. So you do need to alter a font in some way in order to have those centers or counters stay in place. I'm going to come over to the right hand side and I'm going to select a font that has worked very well for me, Grossura, and I will put a link in the video description below for this font. So in this case, these are the letters that you would need to work with. If you are working with numbers, you would also need to work with those that have counters as well. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the process on one or maybe two letters. I'm going to ungroup this design that is going to break apart these letters and then we'll work with one at a time. So I'm gonna move these down here and we'll work with the letter A. I'm gonna zoom in here on this and you can simply come over to your draw rectangle tool. I'm gonna to draw a skinny rectangle. Now keep in mind the project that you are going to be working with, the smaller your design, this you wanna keep that in mind for the amount of space or the size of your bridge. I'm going to fill this with a color so you can see it. Once I have my bridge, I'm gonna just widen this just a little bit. Once I have my bridge, I'm gonna make a copy so that I can keep a copy of that. For this letter A, I'm simply going to place it into the towards the center, select both, and use the Align tool to make sure it's aligned. I'm going to open the Modify panel on the right-hand side and simply choose Subtract. It will vary depending on your font, where the bridge looks the best in the placement, and Undo is going to be your best friend. I'm going to make a copy of this little bridge and I'm going to bring it down here to the B. Zoom out just a little bit more. In this case, we could make a bridge across the entire B. I'm going to just scale this down, I'm keeping it the same size, but I just increased the size of it so it goes across the entire letter. When you are choosing fonts for stencils, bolder fonts can work better. I'm going to just make a copy of that. I held down my Alt key and dragged a copy away. So I'm going to select both of those and I'm going to, you can center it if you want, but that really doesn't typically look, I mean, it just depends on the letter. Every font style is going to be different. I'm gonna move this back over here, select both, use subtract. You can see once it's broken apart, these two, this design has two pieces. So you're going to make sure to group that back together, control G or command G or right click and choose group. You can do the same thing for the letter D and I might as well just go through the rest of these letters and show you. So a quick tutorial, control G to group that together, make a copy. Here you could do the center point of the letter O and then subtract. Mm -hmm. Make sure to group that together. You have your P, you could do, make a copy. You could do the entire P here, select both and subtract. Control G to group. And then your letter Q, we can come back up here, grab this little skinny one. This is why I make copies. And you could simply use this at the top. Select both, center and subtract but I didn't make a copy. So undo, make a copy, select both, subtract. Mm -hmm. Then for your letter R, you could also do the same thing here and just create one at the top. That's going to keep that center in place. Every font style will vary in what works the best and in the placement for your bridges. So here's a look at those letters for this font that I used to create this stencil. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Additional resources are linked in the video description as well. Thanks for watching and have a great day.